So if you don't know, Tulsi Gabbard uh, was the she was on the DNC and she broke with the DNC early on in this 2016 campaign so she could back a real progressive Bernie Sanders because she sees what's happening to the party. Uh, and she was immediately kicked out of the DNC for that. Let's remember that. So uh, and they and they and they castigated her pretty heavy. So she's on to the fact that the United States uh, is funding who we can we keep saying is our terrorists, Al Qaeda, ISIS, El Nusra. The CIA has been spending a ton of money in Jordan training terrorists to go fight in Syria to overthrow Assad. So it's the same shit. You know how we funded uh, Al Qaeda to overthrow Russia in Afghanistan? We're doing the same thing. So now we're funding them in Syria. This is how it works. You know, uh, <laughs> and Americans are such suckers, such suckers. They cut a guy's head off with a kitchen knife. I think we should get, uh, we should spend a trillion more dollars. Uh, so Tulsi Gabbard keeps introducing legislation. She has introduced legislation to uh, stop funding terrorists because it's illegal. If they say, hey, you, you're a regular person. You were aiding and abetting a terrorist. So she's like, well, it should be that way for our government, too, because we keep aiding and abetting terrorists. We keep giving money to Saudi Arabia and, and we keep giving we keep giving arms to Saudi Arabia and they keep f funding ISIS. <laughs> right. We keep get So. This guy, Charles Lister, who's got a blue check, so you know he's important. He's a news guy, and he tweets this out. I wonder if Tulsi Gabbard knows that the two CIA-backed groups her proposed legislation labels as terrorists are fighting Al-Qaeda as we speak. What a dumb jagoff. The opposite of a journalist. You're forwarding government propaganda, you fucking dupe. And here, so here's what I, I said. I wonder if Charles Lister knows that Al-Qaeda is fighting back with weapons the U.S. provided them. Hashtag the more you know. Hashtag establishment mouthpiece. Did he block you? I hope so. <laughs> it's always the follow-up question. You Never see how Jimmy stupid people are? She introduces a bill. Stop funding fucking terrorists. And this jagoff is like, no, what are you, a traitor? What's the matter with you? We're supposed to fund terrorists. What a dumb jagoff. They're our terrorists. Though. They're they're our they're our terrorists. <laughs> so Charles Lister, good job. Good job of being a mouthpiece for this for this wrong 100% establishment. Way to go. Ugh. You, so you see what happens when someone tells the truth. So Tulsi Gabbard comes out, tells the truth. What happens? They shit on her. When she told the truth about Bernie Sanders, what happens? The establishment shits on her. That's what they do. I love how people blame, they blame me. And, so like when uh, Trump uh, okayed the, the pipeline, uh, for the DAPL pipeline, mm. people literally were tweeting out, oh, thanks, Jill Stein. Yeah, I guess right. meaning because Trump is president, it's Jill Stein's fault. The Democrats are wiped out on every level of government. The White House, the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the governorships, they are wiped out. Well, Jill Stein is very anti-environment, though. I mean, yeah. she, she really, you know, that's why it's called the Green Party. They want to eliminate green stuff yeah. like, like grass and trees and what have you. It's just so weird that the Democrats are, are they're wiped out on every level of government. And, and it's Jill Stein's fault. <laughs> She's so powerful. Yeah, that's what I, if she was that powerful, you think the Democrats would maybe, I don't know, want to buddy up with her. <laughs> if she has that much power, maybe. So that's what a politician is supposed to do. You're supposed to court voters. And if you don't get enough voters, that means you didn't do your job. This is the first time in my life I've ever, or I can, and I ask everybody, nobody can point to any other time in the world where people blamed the voters and not the politician. It's the vote. That's the oh, it's the Bernie Bros. It's the Greens. It's the why didn't you fight? Oh. If if there's a greater entitlement than thinking you're owed someone's vote, who as someone who's in another fucking party, I'd like to hear it. That's the definition of entitlement. Talk about entitlement. Well, they did the same thing with Nader. Yeah, they blame the Nader voters. No, they blame so, Nader, yeah. but they didn't yeah. blame the Nader voters. They blame Ralph Nader. Yeah. 
I've, they blame I, Ralph I've Nader. I've seen both. I've seen that. <laughs> and 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 it's like if 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 you needed their votes, you're supposed to go get them. You don't get to do policies that they don't like and then wag your finger at them for not voting for you. That's what happens when you have votes. So uh, this is what happens when you tell the truth. You get guys like Charles Lister with a blue check being a uh, a big dick. Uh, 